we've been given a whole series of um, research material. Kind of this usually happens when uh, when you do productions that have a very strong stylistic idea about themselves. And the, they've ranged from researching The Green Man to reading this book, Ridley Walker, which is uh, written by, let me just, uh, Russell Hoban. It was first published in 1980. Uh, it won the John W. Campbell Memorial Award for Best Science Fiction Novel in 1982 uh, and was nominated for the Nebula Award in 1981. So it kind of got quite a lot of attention. And it's kind of, it's set uh, about uh, 2,000 years after a nuclear war has devastated the world. Um, and it's kind of about how when a society has kind of lost everything, it goes back to basics, but it goes back to a, uh, a time of mythology uh, of... Uh, kind of a pag pagan rituals and things are made out of what is left and uh, the the reason why uh, I think it was we were asked to look at this book because of course we've only just started rehearsals so the, all, all of these things are, are st just starting to evolve and kind of uh, you know, we're starting to cook the, these things up in our in our own heads and not yet in rehearsals. The big thing about this uh, production uh, at Briswold Vic is that it's the first time that Handspring Puppet Theatre have collaborated with Tom Morris since they created Warhorse for the National, which of course has gone on to be incredibly successful. So. I think they've been talking for about two years about wanting to do a show again. And and what the show would be is always kind of an interesting question. And the more we're reading it and the more we're working on it, it seems that, you know, Midsummer Night's Dream is really fantastic, about, you know, a, a, an idea to use. Because, of course, um, we're dealing with a world which is fantastical but at the same time it's a world that believes in magic or it's not a world but it's a, it's a story that believes in magic where kind of magic and humans can live side by side um, and there's tradesmen tradesmen who work with their hands which we don't have anymore really <laughs> you know they're all dying off so this idea of having craftsmen and making a craftsman-like production of Midsummer Night's Dream, which involves wooden carvings and puppets made out of wood and pagan symbols that are carved out of wood, where um, we relate to those carvings like the Green Man in mystical and fantastical ideas, you know, like super, super supernatural. And it seems it seems incredibly apt. It's not just something we're tacking on to Midsummer Night's Dream, just giving it like, oh, we're setting it in the 50s or where this is like, it kind of runs through the whole production. Yeah, without a doubt. I think it will be quite spellbinding and will be surprising and will, uh, I think it will, it, it's, it's really going to be very uh, powerful, very powerful and beautiful to look at. Not because of us as actors, but the all, all the wooden things and the lighting. <laughs> I think it opens on the 4th of March. Yeah, it starts in Bristol and then it goes to the Spelletto Festival in the USA. And then another one, I think, hmm, rubbish. I can't remember the other. But basically, we're going to two festivals in the United States as well in May, uh, June.